Innovation und Hochtechnologie muss auch in den Regelwerken ihren Widerschlag finden. This conference is a platform for the specialists in road safety and car safety especially and they have to meet here, they have to discuss and they can learn each from the other. There are quite a number of uh, very exciting ideas uh, in this car and uh, the, the main point is to think out of the box, come up with new creative solutions and here are a number of these represented. For instance, one uh, that instead of increasing uh, the width of the vehicle uh, in order to give more room for protection in case of a side impact, uh, we uh, have an explosive device within the side structure which basically um, widens the car in case uh, of an accident uh, and therefore doesn't carry the weight all the time and still gives additional protection. So that's a very good example how to work on this conflict between weight and safety. regarding uh, act, uh, accident research. So we have three important parts here at our exhibition. Firstly, I would like to introduce uh, our active safety driving simulator. Well, these are very, very uh, important technologies. Uh, when you integrate them with all of the other systems, it can really help reduce the potential for injuries to an occupant in a crash. Uh, can it help reduce the number of crashes? You integrate that in with the pre-safe technology, looking at whether an event can occur, add a little brake assist to try to slow the vehicle down a little bit more to try to prevent that crash from occurring. So uh, it's a combination of, of, of things that you want to put together to help uh, the motoring public. Inflate them by a generator, gap generator. This is the normal position we have in the car here at the rear. And then the braking works. Yeah, it's, it's under the car, and here you have uh, the rubber. So, uh, overall, I think we have very interesting ideas. and. We There's so many interesting technical things, but it's, but let, let me let me be more specific on that Mercedes. I think highlighting pedestrians would be my number one of the things that I've seen that are very clever. Uh, the brake airbag is very clever. I'm, I'm, I'd like to see I'd know a little more about it. But if you can highlight the pedestrians uh, with those lights and the pedestrians don't object, I think that would be a very nice feature for pedestrian protection.
Die können sie überholen. Das ist ein Signal, dass sie relativ Lame. zügig unterwegs sind, aber das macht nichts. Clearly the uh, most exciting topic out there right now is all the uh, uh, potential that we have to start preventing crashes. You know, we've always wanted to prevent crashes. Uh, the best crash is the one that doesn't happen. And uh, although we've always wanted to do that, we haven't always had the technology that could make it happen. Electronic stability control was really the first technology that came in and really uh, met the promise. Uh, it not only protected vehicles on test tracks, but in the real world we saw benefits. Now we've got a lot more technology, things like forward collision warning with uh, brake systems, uh, we've got uh, lane departure warning, blind spot uh, detection, and if those can work like uh, electronic stability control, then we have a real chance to reduce the danger of motor vehicle crashes.